I've got a journal finally completed. Um, this one's a little bit different than what, than what I've done. Um, it's a altered book that I've covered with this beautiful floral paint, uh, pattern uh, fabric. So I'm really happy with how it's come out. I've, um, you know, normally I do the booksmith uh, type books, but um, I've been wanting to work with something that's a little bit bigger, and this one is. This is a 7 by 10 inch. Uh, actually, it's closer to 7 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter. And the spine is one and a quarter inch. Um, and the closure is a sorry silk. And this is a design team project for Love Junk Journals, who is Tracy Fox. Um, most of you are familiar with Tracy's digitals. So um, let's just get inside. And what I'm going to do is in the description box below, I'm going to list um, all of the kits that I've used from Tracy's shop because I've, there's quite a few. Um, she's, they all coordinate so nicely together. Um, and like I said to you before, I find they work well with other um, design uh, teams, as you know, pr kits as well. So, okay, so on the front here, um, I don't know if I've told you guys, there's 108 pages. It's a two signature. And like I said, it's, it's a lot bigger um, than what I normally, normally I'm doing about five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So this is, um, like I said, seven and a quarter by ten. And then on the front here, I've just created this. This was one of my 100-day uh, projects. And I've just made a, a big journal card there that's tucked in there. This is just an altered... Um, sorry, I'm at another really odd angle again for filming today. Um, this was an altered envelope. And so with this flips over, you could add a photo, or if you want to do some journaling, you can. And then I've created a pocket here and just tucked in um, a tea dyed index card that's been punched. This is one of the tags from the Floral Delight kit in Tracy's shop, and it is a gorgeous kit. It's a big kit as well. And then uh, here I've just um, taken bits of scrap, stitched them, and that's all been... Um, adhered so that you could do some journaling there. And like I said, I just tuck these in and then this flips back down. Oh, another image from Tracy's kit. Um, this is one of the ta tags in the Floral Delight kit. Love these. She's done such a beautiful job with that. She's done all the stitching around it. It's collaged. And then these are papers um, from various kits in Tracy's shop. And I, I just think they all coordinate really nicely. So this journal um, has got lots of book pages because I've been collecting a lot of books over the last few months. And some of them I didn't want to cut down. So this was just a great place, um, you know, to keep these intact and um, include them. And they are just gorgeous. I, I think you'll, uh, whoever ends up with this is going to, I think they're going to really be happy with it. Um, took some more of the coordinating paper and did a couple of little fabric snippets. And like I said, just various book pages. Um, this is just some book pages that I sewed together and just made it into like a floating pocket and did some collaging on that and just various um, bits of ephemera that's been tucked in here. And this is one of my aged uh, paper clips. Um, somebody was asking me the other day about doing a tutorial on my aging process and I can't do that. And the reason being, um, this is a commercial product that we had used in our lighting company. So even if I showed you guys, you wouldn't be able to purchase this. Um, I know there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube for how to age the paper clips, but I can't 
comment on those because I've never done anything other than use this product and it, it does work very, very well and very quick. Um, this is another book page that I've had and been wanting to include. So I think it was named appropriately because I've, I've called it floral because you guys know I, um, within the nature, I, I, I love nature and I love being out. Um, but I'm always drawn to the floral side. <laughs> um, here in the Edith Holden book page, and I've just sewn um, an extra little flip onto that. I'm sorry, Daisy's just going crazy today. I think the postman must be here. Um, another bit of the coordinating fabric, and I've just made it a, a fabric tip in there so you can do some journaling. Daisy! Sorry about that, guys. Um, this is another uh, page from Tracy's kit. And then in the center, I've taken some beeswax to a um, 6x9 envelope. So that's, um, and then I've just tucked various bits of ephemera in here. Um, this is a little envelope. I've not glued it together, so that can be glued together. And another um, of the journal pages, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I will list which kit this comes from because um, I've got, uh, gosh, I've got several of her kits within this journal. Um, on this page, this is another flip out that I've made with an Edith Holden. And then this is a book page pocket here. And then another little pocket on the back. And these are some of the... Um, this, I believe, is Nature's Snippet, and this is the Urban Forage One kit, and I love these. Very um, simple designs, but I, I think they're really, really nice. Uh, let's see here. Another page from Edith Holden, and then this is um, the... Coral Delight paint. No, I'm not sure. I think this may be the Nature Snippets. <laughs> um, some more book pages. Um, just various things all related to nature and gardening. Um, this is some avocado dyed paper that got too close. I baked this particular batch and it got too close to the element. I thought, actually, it adds character to it. So... <laughs> I love this page. Absolutely gorgeous. More of uh, Tracy's pages. Aren't they beautiful? And then here I've taken one of her uh, file folders and I've just tucked it onto this. This is avocado dyed paper. Let me hold my place there. Um, and I've got these in the shop. If, if you want to just purchase these on their own, I've got some of these in the shop for sale. Um, as well and inside you've just got they're just full of ephemera and um, these are from Tracy's shop these are just from my own stash I've done some stamping that I've cut out and added to it and then on this side I've just taken some of Tracy's um, fussy cut images and added that to it and then this is one of her seed packets she's got in her shop this is um, another little tuck it's a journal card with a tuck space and then one of Tracy's tags this is the um, silhouette kit and just like I said various things um, I did a little postcard with a bit of fabric faux uh, stamp there so that's all been tucked in and that way you know it can be used throughout the journal or maybe you want to just use it in a, in, a, in a another journal that you've got but oh and on the back I've got one of the ticket um, Tim Holtz uh, photo dies and that's all been filled this is an, a genuine um, tea card 
so that's and then the other ones are from Tracy's shop that are digital uh, printouts so that's just been clipped there and then when you flip it over on the front I filled this with more ephemera so um, you know just stamped images from my collection of stamps and uh, just various things so although this one doesn't have a lot of um, pockets within it. The reason for me doing that is because I had included so many, um, another, it's a double tuck, and that was in the first signature as well. I'm sorry I didn't point that out. Um, the reason I haven't put as many um, pockets within this is because I had put so many um, different types of book pages because I wanted to start including I've got so many books guys and these larger ones I've not really been able to incorporate them into my journals because I feel like um, to cut them down I, I wanted to keep some of the large ones intact so because I've got so many book pages I wanted to make sure I was leaving enough space for journaling within um, because it's a journal <laughs> And yet, you know, there's still lots of varied book pages. The only thing I think I've duplicated is Edith Holden. But the other ones, I tried to give you a really nice mix so that, um, you know, you didn't have duplicate. This is something I recently got, and it was a gardening um, book for people who are building their garden so that they could document, you know, each week or month or um, within it. So I thought that was really cool. So I, I picked that up. I put a fabric pocket in this signature, and this is another of the uh, journal cards from that uh, Floral Delight kit, which I love. Um, this is the Beast Wax... I did a tutorial on this for, um, in fact, it was my last Design Tea project for Tracy because she's got these papers in her um, shop and I um, put the beeswax to that and then I created the little fabric snippet cluster with a, an old button. So that's been pinned in here so that can be moved throughout or you could glue it down if you wanted it permanent. As I said, I wanted to keep this um, so that it, whoever the recipient is can customize it to their needs because they might not want a pocket there, you know. So that was my thinking behind that. And another little flip out so you can do some journaling here and here and the Edith Holden page. Um, but like I said, that's the only page um, Edith Holden that I did. I put one in each signature. Everything else was t completely different. Um, another little window, and I tuck that in so that that peeks through. And then I've done a little pocket here, and this is another one of the tags from the kit. They are collaged beautifully. That's what I like. Um, the designers now are going, they're doing a lot of this work for us, um, which is great. <laughs> I love the fact that um, we're getting a lot more of the collaging sheets. That's so much fun to do. Uh, another little book page pocket. I love how these have come out. And again, some more of the tags from various kits from Tracy's shop. So, uh, like I said, just check the description box below for um, a list of every kit that I've, I've put in here. I did a bit of stamping throughout the journal as well, here and there. Um, and then another little flip out some more writing space and then this is that um, self-sufficiency book I recently got and I love that image uh, you know of a farmhouse kitchen and 
baking the bread and you can just imagine what a busy household that must be preparing everything. And this is one of Tracy's um, tags as well. That comes in the um, the file folder that I've created that's part of that kit. And on the back here I did one of the big um, coin envelopes and I've kept it open on the side so you can stick some items under here. I've backed it so that you know there, there wasn't any white showing. <coughs> so that's a nice big place you can add some things as well. And as I said, you know, with this being a smaller spine, um, it was difficult. I, I just didn't want to add any more to it because it's quite chunky as it, as it is. And I don't want to, um, I just don't want to fill any, any more into this with that I only have. And I think it's about a one and a quarter inch spine. So on the front, um, this is one of the labels you get from Tracy's kit. And I've just put one of the Tim Holtz. Uh, ornate book plates on that one. So there it is guys. If you're interested in this, this is going to be in my shop and I just um, want to say that I've got two more in this style that I'm working on. And let me just show you these quickly because all I've gotten done so far is the covers made. Um, but you can see these are going to be the floral as well. And they're going to be done the same as this. I'm going to keep them quite simple, just using the uh, book plate. And I'll name them. I don't know what the names will be. But as you can see, they're going to be very similar. It's about a one, a one inch spine. So I'm going to have two signatures in these as well. Um, might not be able to get as many book pages, but it's going to be around 100 pages. Um, so if you're interested... Um, you might want to get a hold of me and let me know because I've had a lot of people say, oh, I can't, you know, I never get to your uh, journals before they sell. But I do offer custom orders. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that to you guys before. Um, so if you've seen something in the past that you like, please contact me. Um, I'm happy to, if I've got... It's often difficult with the fabric because a lot of my fabric are one-offs, but I can certainly find something that's similar if it's a fabric one. Um, and I'd be happy to work with you if you've got a project in mind. Um, if you've got the need for a wedding guest book, I do those as well as custom orders. Um, I have not set up listings for these um, I might do that in the future because I have seen some people are doing that. But I, I would rather you converse with me um, through my website. And like I said, if you've got something in mind that, that I have done in the past and you missed out on, certainly feel free to contact me over that. And like I said, if, if you think you're going to be interested in one of these, do let me know and, and I can go ahead and, um, and work on those and put one back for you. Um, trying to think if there's anything else to share with you guys. Um, I went to a craft show yesterday in Birmingham here. It was okay. I enjoyed, you know, just getting out of the house. So from that point of view, I enjoyed it. But I got to say, product-wise, it was pretty bad. It was really lacking, I think, um, in, uh variety. There wasn't a lot of stamps. I was actually quite surprised that some of the UK stamp manufacturers here weren't participating in that and that was very disappointing because I'd been to this show uh, probably eight years ago and it was um, a much better selection so I'm not sure what's happening with um, the organizers there, but it was pretty disappointing. So but I enjoyed just getting out of the house, and um, from that that point of view, it was fun. But um, product wise, it, it was pretty bad. But so I don't have anything to share with you guys, I'm afraid. Um, so that's it for me today, guys. I am getting ready to go out and work in my yard, a garden, as they say in England, the garden. <laughs> um, 
it's very small, so I'm going to go out and work around in it a bit today because it's supposed to be very, it's supposed to be one of the hottest days of the year here, so I don't know how long I'll make it out there, but that's my day plan. Tomorrow, car boots. If I get anything decent to show you guys, I'll share that uh, next week with you, but anyways, you guys have a great weekend. I will see you here again soon. Bye!